Hey, it's MK and I am back with another Scrap Temper 2022 prompt for today. We are doing stars. So this is absolutely perfect for me. I pulled out this uh, 13 Arts um, stamp set along with this thicker set. I plan on using, um, well, at first I thought I was going to use that exhale, but I think I used the words down below that says, what a lovely day. And it is this thicker set for that is called, let me see, a uh, golden rod. I'm not sure about that, you guys. Um, anyways, I also pulled out my champagne stardust butter that is brand new from the Crafters Workshop, as well as my stickles. And it's really hard to read, so I wanted to pull it out and see what exactly it says. And I believe it says solar flare, but I still couldn't read it even after trying to um, get it up close and personal. But it's one of my favorites because it's got all those stars in it and stuff. Then I also have um, my mixed media gloss spray in gilt. And then I have all of these wonderful little acrylic stars um, from Some Assemblage Required and Pear Tree uh, Cut Files. And I was thinking I was going to use that moon, but I don't really end up using it. I don't end up using this chipboard either because I put it right up there and pff, there it stays. I never even think about that. Uh, little chipboard piece ever again. Here is my star um, cut file and then I have my two beautiful photos because my husband loves taking pictures of sunset and then also from 13 Arts under the stars I have this beautiful paper that um, says it is called Shine and it came in a collection. I can't remember. Uh, oh, under the stars is the is the collection and then oddly enough it has like this plant page behind it. Anyways, I'm not sure, but I do know that I want um, my paper to go with the stripes going um, horizontal. I just don't know which way I want, that, want it to go yet. So I'm going to work with my white piece of cardstock really quickly because I wanted, um, I wanted a photo mat, but I wasn't really sure exactly what I was going to do. I wasn't really sure uh, the type of mixed media I wanted on the layout. I just really had no idea, um, no plan whatsoever just yet uh, of what I'm doing. So when I don't know what I'm going to do, I move on to what I know I want to do. So I know that I want to map my photos. So I'm going to go ahead and map them. But I wanted uh, the mat to be similar to what's going to be on the layout. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking my Stardust Butter uh, by <laughs> the Crafters Workshop. Now this stuff is brand new. Um, this year and I and I believe it just came out I want to say um, in June or July it they just came out I love these little pots you guys but this stardust butter is almost like having sand uh, like a glittery sand but it's not glitter it's it's hard to explain uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to rub it across my photo mat just on the edges so that way I get that champagne color um, on my, um, you know, behind my photos instead of just white. So I think it's going to look really, really well. So I'm going to play with that for just a little bit. And I actually do this entire process in front of you guys um, because I didn't know if this is something that you guys would be interested in. I mean, honestly, I don't miss cardstock. Um, I, I'm not sure if you guys know or not, but um, the last retreat I went to, which I want to say was in April. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm feeling like I need another retreat. Oh, I apologize. I am so sorry. That was rude. Um, but the last retreat that I went to, I totally forgot uh, my entire stack. I, I usually have a travel set of cardstock and I forgot every single one of them. So I had to adapt and improvise, which basically means that I had to adjust what I was going to do and find um, pattern paper that reads as a solid. So if I'm looking for a green, I'm going to go straight into like my outdoorsy stuff and look for, um, you know, kind of like a leafy print or something like that. So I definitely had to, um, I had to think outside the box when it came to that particular um, 
retreat. And so one of the things that it also led me to is when I got home, I got rid of all the cardstock that I knew I would never use again. Of course, I started with my pinks, you guys. That is just no questions asked. Um, I'm still to the point where I, I'm slowly but surely working my way of getting rid of all the pinks um, in other colors you know like um, I have a bin that is just nothing but pink I have ink pads that are nothing but pink well how often do I touch them um, judging by the fact that it used to be white and now it's dusty I don't think I use it at all uh, I've got markers that are on the pink side now those I might keep because I can blend them into red uh, I could also use them as um, watercolor markers things like that not that I would watercolor pink but I'm just saying um, but it was just something that I was starting to do is, is dwindle down the pink in my life because I, it's not something I reach for. Now there's subtle pinks that I might keep, you know, um, the blush pinks, things like that. But as far as those hot pinks that I've got in my life, I just can't imagine, um, needing those in my life. Uh, so anyways, um, I, I have no idea where I'm at on this, on this layout. I'm, I'm talking about all the pink in my life. Um, that's not necessary. So <laughs> what I have going on here, you guys, is the fact that I don't even know what started that conversation, by the way. Uh, I, it's it's uh, 10 o'clock at night here and I am uh, slightly tired. I'm sleep deprived uh, because normally I go to bed at 7.30. So what I did was I took my pencil and I traced just the outside of my cut file. I, I'm really going for, I, I want a general idea, but I'm okay if I go outside the lines type of thing. Um, because I want it to look stardusted, right? Like it's been dusted with uh, the, the stardust. Um, and so I'm, I'm trying to see my pencil and in the darker spots, it's difficult. So I'm tipping my page into the light so I can see a little bit more. And then here it, it's totally blurred out. I don't even know what it is anymore. So I'm just dabbing it up with my finger. Um, but I wanted to color my stars in. I didn't want to back them. I didn't want to do anything difficult. I just wanted to color my stars in. And now what I'm doing is, again, I'm giving them that little stardust little going ons. And what's really cool is inside this stickles, which is the coolest stuff ever, you guys. I don't know why I didn't like stickles when they first came out. But these, this stuff, they, they've got, it's like a, it's like a goopy glue. And it's got chunky glitter and then star glitter inside it. And I don't know why this stuff is so cool. I, I don't like this stuff, but this stuff is so cool. It, it Does that make sense? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I'm not really sure. But um, it's a cool effect because when I lay my stencil back down, I'm going to have little stars on top of stars on top of stars. And it's just... It's, when somebody says that your prompt is stars, I'm going to go chaotic on it, <laughs> just to let y'all know. So uh, there's my stars on top of stars. Uh, so I have my dusted stars, now my glittered stars, now my star cut, cut file. Uh, say that 10 times fast. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that off to dry because my stickles takes a few minutes for it to dry, but that stencil butter was dried before I was even finished with the last star. Um, so I went ahead and I matted my photos and I love the fact that I love that, that champagne color, um, behind my photos and on my photo mat and whatnot. So I went ahead and I added glue and whatnot. So that way I could pick up my cut file. Now I'm going to take it back off and go and do the stamping. So on the stamping, I decided to use a gold ink pad by one canoe Two. I picked this up a couple uh, years ago. Um, it is a little on the dry side. So I have to smoosh that stuff in there pretty good. And I don't know if this is even available anymore or if there was ever a ring inker that I should have bought back in the day. I have no clue, but as of now, it does what I want it to do and it is absolutely gorgeous. So here is a close up of all of the stamp work. Basically what I did was I went along the path of my stars and made sure that I had a little bit of stamping above, a little bit of stamping below, um, a little st bit of stamping in between, but I just wanted that subtle blob look to make up for the fact that when I used the stencil butter, I wasn't perfectly staying in the lines. That's all I was trying to go for. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue everything together. I got a little bit of glitter um, from these stickles on one of my photos, but hey, by the time I'm done gluing all of these acrylic stars, you're never gonna know. 
honestly. So I put this in super speed mode. Actually, I put it in super speed mode back when I was doing the mixed media part um, because it was it it did take a while, especially dabbing my finger in it and 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 rubbing out every single one of those stars. So all of this, you guys, took a little bit, um, and and it might have only been about an hour. I'm not really sure, maybe an hour and a half, um, because I I was trying to stay in the lines. Then I didn't mind not staying in the lines, and now I'm going through and one at a time. I'm taking every single star. Yes every single star that I have over on the right is going to end up on that layout. Um, at first I thought, oh, well, I think this might be a bit overboard. Uh, no, I, I love the way that it ends up looking. So next thing I forgot to do, because I was going to do that before I started laying my stars down to make sure that I had enough room for this large title that I wanted to use. I love the gold in this. It's not too shimmery, shiny gold. Um, it's, it's just a nice pale gold and I really like that so just says what a lovely day um, even though these are pictures of the sunset it could have been a lovely day leading up to even a gorgeous sunset you know it just made it uh, even a better day um, this is my husband took my kids um, to a uh, white water well it's not white water rafting but it's rafting um, through the church and so uh, he they did a whole camp out and whatnot and he's kind of like the hall monitor he's the last one to go to bed to make sure that all the kids are you know in their tents and tucked away and, and nicely softly snoring before he calls it a night and uh, he loves taking um, sunset photos absolutely loves it and I love waking up to his sunset photos and I say waking up because it usually takes him a couple um, a, a couple more hours before he realizes oh yeah I should send that to her <laughs> um, he doesn't share them right away with me I should say and sometimes he doesn't share them um, at all but he comes home and brings them home and shows them to me you know and tells me about them and stuff which I don't know which way I would prefer more because of the fact that um, it's seeing his excitement that he got that he captured this beautiful sunset or knowing that he's thinking of me while he's staring at the sunset so anyways last thing i'm going to add to this layout because it already doesn't have enough is some uh gloss spray from dina wakely in gilt which is her gold and that is where i'm calling this layout good here are the close-ups i absolutely at first thought I went a little overboard on the whole star prompt and then I was like no this is awesome I even have all those stars that are on that layout magically fell into place where they were supposed to be don't ask me how I did that because honestly I never even paid attention <laughs> until like right now I was looking at them and I was like hey that was like perfectly placed stars that you printed on that layout just for me um, <laughs> but anyways, this is, uh, this is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. I really, truly appreciate it. I know I got a little sideways on the conversation, have no idea what started on the pink path, um, because there's no pink whatsoever on my layout, but it started somehow. Uh, maybe I'll go back and watch it and figure out how I got on that bandwagon and finish that train of thought. Um, but anyways, check out the Facebook group for Scrap Timber and all the beautiful layouts you guys this is phenomenal and I have to tell you that um, I can see what the prompt was by looking at the layout but it is completely different because they took that prompt and did something different with it than what I did with it than what the next person did with it than what the person did with it two days ago and what is also really cool um, and 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 it, I think it's really cool is everybody's going at their own pace there's no rush on any of this stuff you guys it is absolutely awesome all right also too there's a playlist for everyone that is recording their process which I think is amazing because then you might find some really cool other um, youtubers to go and watch and fill the void when um, some youtubers take the day off so anyways again thank you so much and I will check y'all later bye